Fortnite Creative just got an awesome Christmas update. Last week with the new season, we kind of got a few teasers that we would be getting these pieces, and today they finally come out. And guys, let me tell you, some of these are so, so cool. These might be some of the best pieces we've gotten in a long time. I'm excited to jump in and show you some of the prefabs and then the galleries, and then let's build something really cool with it. Now, before we jump into this, I know a lot of people have been saying, you know, this next update, we're gonna get something massive in creative mode, and maybe we will, because this was not like update day. This is just kind of a nice little drop they gave us. And Epic did say that in the 15.1 update, we will be getting something new. So I can't wait to see what that actually is. And I'm not sure what update day this week is going to be for actually. So whenever that happens, I'll have a video about it. Okay, guys, let's run in here and check this out. Okay, first off, guys, look at these awesome like new heads and they glow inside. The glow is so cool. Like these guys are legit and they're massive too. You can like make them huge. So yeah, guys, that is awesome. I love the like textures on this with like the ice chips. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, first of all, uh, these pieces are so cool. Like it just, it feels so magical inside. It's gonna be great for ice castles, that kind of thing. We've also got these really cool new like box pieces. I'll talk more about this in when we get to the galleries, but those are awesome. I love the snowflakes, guys. Snowflakes are legit. Okay, we've got ice doors, which is cool. These floors are awesome. We've got like the cool red lighting. Once again, guys, this is a great example of how to use lighting in your map. So like that corner, is kind of boring, but then you put the light here and all of a sudden it turns into this like magical glow to it. So this is one of the reasons I always like to look at the prefabs because it gives you ideas on how you can build and improve your own maps just by adding some lighting to it. Oh man, these chairs. There is a spring coming out of the ice chair, guys. Don't sit on that. That would hurt a lot. Okay, this is a cool building, guys. This is like the hotel. What is this ice? <laughs> this ice slap That is hilarious. I don't know if I'd want to sleep on that. This is cool though. This is an awesome some prefab. Dude, check out this. The chandelier is so legit. Oh my gosh. This gives me an idea for what we could build today. This kind of looks like something that would fit in Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Hmm, we're gonna have to build the Fortress of Solitude. You know it, guys. That's what I'm building today. Oh, the green cubes, guys, are so legit. And whoa, it's the Nutcracker. <laughs> oh, that is an awesome prop. Ooh, guys, I can't wait to get into the gallery. And these staircases with these glowing orbs on it. Oh, wait, the orb is not part of it. Oh, I I see the orb is a separate prop. That is cool. Oh man, I'm loving this. Okay, let's go over and look at the next building. So oh, I guess I didn't tell you before. That first one is the Ice House Shiver Inn. And then this is the Ice House Chair. I mean, it just... It looks like a chair. Uh, maybe this is for like a giant snowman or something. I don't really understand this building, but it's cool. Okay, and there's not much uh, else in this building. I feel like a lot of the props we've already seen, and this is just the different buildings. The candy canes are very nice. This is the ice house hut, so let's just take a look inside. Let's just see if there's anything else we see in here. Oh, wow, that is a tiny hut. There's not even like a room. It's literally just that, right? I, one thing, I do love these roof pieces. These roof pieces are nice. It looks like snow on top. And then on the bottom, it's like this nice shiny ice. And then this is the gingerbread chalet. Oh man, this is an interesting little, just tiny house. The gingerbread man on top. Very angry gingerbread man. This is Laser Beam's uh, house. Don't mess with him. Okay, now we're getting into some of the galleries. So we do have these new floor galleries, which are actually really cool. Some of these are like really great if you want to make like your own, I don't know, like ice skating rink. And then we got these cool like floor slash roof pieces. I have the ice on the top, but then it's got the nice like curve on the bottom. So this this is actually really cool because you can do a lot of different things with this. I don't know, and just piecing this together, you can make it like a really cool spiky. And then if you just recycle, see now you got some like really cool pieces here that are spiky on top. And you guys know it's not a true update day if I don't do some sort of a rotation piece like this. See now we've got a custom star to look at. This is so beautiful. You know what? We gotta make this. This is a big spike. <laughs> I feel like you haven't truly gone through update day until you've just done this. Oh man, I, it just always looks so cool to me. All right, all right, all right, enough of this. Goodbye, beautiful star. Okay, now this is what we really want, guys, is the gallery. Okay, here once again, guys, here's the chandelier. And now let's just play around with this. One thing I always love to do with the new pieces is just kind of play around with how I could use them in a map. So now this is just looking like cool landscape. Like you just kind of put them overlapping each other. And now they've got this like awesome 
room you could make. It just feels magical inside. I mean, this piece gets pretty big. That's about as big as it gets. But now if you overlap it with these smaller ones, you start to see a really cool new like terrain piece, honestly. That is such a great new piece, guys. Okay, we got the palm trees that glow this red hue in it. I love that red hue. And then we've got the two different like heads, the smiling one, the frowning one. The ice fireplace, guys, the ice fireplace is legit. And then the furniture, oh, I love it. Oh, and then look at these sculptures here. We got the fish stick sculpture. We've got the fish stick sculpture. This is perfect for like a Kenworth death run. I'm sure one of you guys out there can go and now make a whole map off of the fish sticks uh, skin. And then we got the monster from the event. That is awesome. And one of the skins, I don't know exactly what skin that is, but one of the lady skins. And of course the nutcracker that we saw earlier. That's amazing. Uh, this is cool. We got the shiver in text. I mean, I guess I don't really know how many applications you're going to use this on. Like, I would love it if they just added the whole alphabet in these letters. Okay, this is awesome. This ball is so cool looking. I feel like this makes some good platforms for like a death run. Oh wait, there's no hitbox on this. Wait, there is a hitbox on it when it's not reshaped, but when I've reshaped it like this, there's not a, the, oh wait, the hitbox is still just in the middle. It didn't expand with the ball. When you do it as a ball, the hitbox does expand. So it does, so it is normal on the ball, but when I reshaped it, it made it so the hitbox is weird. Oh, dude, that's interesting. Okay, this is cool, guys. This bar that's all frozen inside. Ah, uh, yes, and then we've got the snowflakes and, like, uh, I don't know, a star there. I do actually really like pieces like this. I feel like they add a lot to the majesty of different maps. And, of course, guys, always play around with resizing because now it looks like something totally different. We got these spikes, guys, these spikes. How cool are these? These are going to be great for, like, terrain, caves, that kind of thing. I can't wait to use these. Okay, guys, now I want to end here on these blocks. These blocks are probably the best addition of this whole update. These look so cool. I love the green hue in it or the pink hue. And this one's like a lighter blue. And we've got like a darker blue block here. Like, I really like these pieces. And I think these can be used in a lot of different types of maps. It doesn't just have to be like a winter map. Okay, so we've got all of our stuff here. Now, guys, let's make the Fortress of Solitude. If you guys don't know what the Fortress of Solitude is, it's like Superman's home base where he goes to like talk to his father and meditate and stuff like that. So now I know the Fortress of Solitude doesn't have any like hue to it, but I want it to glow. I think that would be cool to have it glow. So I got to work and it was actually pretty simple just making some spikes and turning them in different directions. Then I put down some so no terrain around and messed with the lighting and we had our Fortress of Solitude. Alright guys, there it is. This is the Fortress of Solitude. Actually guys, it looks pretty cool with this lighting and everything. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I mean, it's not perfect. If I fly out here at all, you can see how imperfect it is, but when you're down here, I think that looks really cool. Alright guys, really cool new update. I'm excited to see what comes out later this week or next week when 15.1 comes out. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise guys, have fun with the new galleries.